Hi everybody, this is Ajay from Bora 600. In this video, I'm going to talk about Oracle database incarnations. Before Oracle Tenji, it was really important to take the full backup of the database once it had been opened using the reset lock option. The previous backups would become invalid. You can only do a reset lock operation of a database either when a point in time recovery is done or the database has been restored using backup control file. In Oracle Tenji, percentage R parameter was introduced to the log archive format parameter which basically kept track of the number of incarnations which the database has gone through. So in a nutshell, you don't really need to back up the database after opening it using the reset block option. So you can check the incarnations of your database using the list incarnation of database command. And you can reset the database to a previous incarnation using the reset database to incarnation command. You would only need to reset the database to a previous incarnation in those scenarios where the information you require is in the older archive logs belonging to the pre reset log state of the database. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestions. Signing off.